Intuition is rooted in truth. Fear is rooted in a lie. I've been having a hard time differentiating between my ego and intuition. There's been a lot of times where my intuition was warning me about something, but it wasn't calm. You know, I obviously teach on intuition inside of MBA. And I have a friend who uh, she considers herself an intuition expert. So I was like, intuition expert, can you tell me your answer for how to know if it's intuition or fear? And she went on 12 paragraphs later with her answer. And I was like reading it and she was like, it's very nuanced. Sometimes this, sometimes this, this and this is what I suggest for people. Blah, blah, blah. And so my response is like, okay, so it is nuanced. That's what I figured. And she says, yes. And I always recommend that people test out their own language when it comes to their intuition. So what I give you inside of MBA is really like obviously generic, meaning like this is from my experience plus my students' experience plus what I know plus this plus that and just like trying to categorize it as best as possible. But what I will say is that you still need to experiment. You still need to analyze and assess how certain situations showed up in the past and noticing, like, for example, my friend, she hears her intuition on her left side. So in this scenario, where was the voice, the thoughts coming from of what I should do? Was it from my right or my left? Huh, it came from my left. Did I like the end result of that situation? Do I feel like it took me down the right path? Yes. Okay, left. Huh. This situation, did I hear it loud or did I hear it subtle and quiet? Did I feel it? Did I hear it? Did I see something? So that is going to be the most accurate assessment. When I mean calm, I don't necessarily mean quiet. What I have noticed to be true from one, again, my own perspective is that intuition, it's not necessarily like, I'm, I don't want you to think of calm as like quiet necessarily, because when it's warning you, it could totally be like, yo, bitch, don't go there, right? Like, hello, don't go there. But it's not giving you this emotion, meaning you're not feeling frantic. You're not feeling fearful. You're not feeling overwhelmed. You're not feeling anxious. You're not like, ah, you know, like there's no franticness behind it. It's just like, hello, don't go there. Oh, okay. Like I was booking a trip or in the process of booking a trip when I just got pregnant, it was to a country that I haven't been to. And I just got this voice, like very stern voice in my head that says, Catherine, if you go there, you will get murdered. And I'm like, okay, I will not be going there. And it wasn't about the country itself. It wasn't about anything specific to that. It was just like, Catherine, if you go at this time, you're just going to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And so I told the group, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm also pregnant. I can't go, blah, blah, blah. I just, you know, came up with my, with my spiel of why I can't go. I was also, I also had to reschedule my launch because I was first trimester, super nauseous and things like that. And it was nothing about the group. Like the group can go. It was just me added to the mix for some reason. So it was very like, hello, loud, this and that. But that was for me. For you, it could be quiet. It could be a whisper. I just think that kind of categorizing it, intuition is rooted in truth. Fear is rooted in a lie. So how does truth feel in your body? How does truth sound in your body when you're telling the truth? And when you're telling a lie, how does that show up in your body? Do you feel a little jittery? Do you feel a little unstable? And so match it with when you're making decisions, do you feel grounded when you want to go left? And do you feel jittery when you want to go left? Does it feel closer to a truth or a lie? Because the truth speaks a certain way and a lie speaks another way. <laughs> 